Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It's an inherited disease with multiple causes, mainly genetic alteration in the call gene. And this can be autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive. This results in defective synthesis of collagen. Other very important causes are deficiency in the pro-collagen peptidase enzyme or the lysyl oxidase enzyme. Like we said, this will result in the production of defective collagen. Collagen is a construction protein and it gives strength and stability to all tissues in the body, mainly the skin. So we see the classical hyperextendable skin and the hypermobile joints in these patients. If there is a skin wound, it will heal very poorly. Collagen is also heavily involved in the construction of blood vessels. So we see weak blood vessels that easily form aneurysms and easily rupture, especially in the aorta. Other organs can also be affected and might rupture, especially ones that would have increased pressure, like pregnancy and the uterus. And we'll also see aneurysms in the brain in the form of barrier aneurysms. And here's a small quiz. In which of the following patients with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome do we see kyphosis? We see it in a patient with defective lysyl oxidase enzyme. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.